Hello. Today you will hear four members of our adult handball choir play during the offertory. The set of handbells you will hear today are very unique in that they are made not here in the United States, but in England. Here in the United States, most groups in churches and schools have either a set of Schumert bells, which were founded in 1935, or a set of Malmark bells, which was founded in 1973. The Church of the Covenant has a long history with these bells that go back to more than 50 years. These bells are called White Chapel Bells. The history of these White Chapel Bells go, goes back to 1570. They have been seen and heard in many churches in England and even in historic places around the world. Most notably, Big Ben at the Palace of Westminster, the Liberty Bell near Independence Hall in Philadelphia, and most recently, the Bell of Hope, which was given to this country after the September 11th attack in New York. So here I have a bell from our set at the church. And I'm putting my gloves on because it is important to have your gloves on to protect the bells. The oil of your hands, if it gets on the, the body of the bell, can change the sound of the bell over many, many years. So this is very important when you handle the bells, you have gloves on. So the bell is, the body of the bell is made out of copper and tin, four to one ratio. And after the the bell is is made, it's connected to a handle, which in the white chapel bells, it's made out of leather. For the American, American bells, the Schumerk and the Malmark, they have their handles made out of plastic. So after it's assembled, everything is in, there's a person that tests the rim 360 degrees of the bell to find the best place that the clapper can hit. And then once they figure that out, they adjust the clapper so it only hits that place or the opposite side. So as a handbell ringer for hand white chapel bells, you need to figure out which side is the best side. For Mulmark and Schumark, the person that finds the best place puts a little mark inside the bell so the ringer knows which side is the best place. But for the white chapel ringers, we have to figure out which side is best. So it takes a little time to sort of maneuver the bell and figure out which side is the best place. So each side has a little bit of a different tone to it. Now the other unique thing about handbells is the clapper only goes two ways, this way and that way. And if you turn the bell this way, the clapper does not move, so you can't ring it. So if you see people using bells and they're ha they have it crossed like this, it's because they have it so that you can play one bell, this side, and you can play the other bell, this side. So if you hear it like this, this bell is ringing, but this bell is not. You turn it, this bell is ringing, and this bell is not. So there's certain ways that you can do it to see to play each bell individually. Or if you have it in the same direction, you can play it together. So you hear two bells at the same time. As you listen to today's offertory, Be Thou My Vision, close your eyes and imagine yourself in England and listen to the sound of the bells. Bells have been known throughout history to have a spiritual and hearing power. These are the words of the hymn you will hear. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Not be all else to me, save that thou art. Thou my best thought, by day or by night, waking or sleeping, thy presence my light. Riches I heed not, nor vain empty praise. Thou mine inheritance now and always. Thou and thou only, first in my heart, great God of heaven, my treasure thou art. Be thou my wisdom and thou my true word. I ever with thee and thou with me, Lord. Heart of my own heart, whatever befall, still be my vision, O ruler of all.